Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. This is Alan Paul, and we're going to continue on with our permadeath, no starter ship, no pod, Iron Man challenge. So we're at the extreme difficulties of every setting on this, locked in, can't change anything. And first thing we're going to do as soon as I get back in here is I'm going to make sure my HUD is turned off. By default, it'll turn it back on. So we want to do that immediately. Okay. And here we go. So we're back to this. And we're still looking for a ship. So we were up here last time we played. And literally still not finding anything. So we're going to go ahead and continue on. No timer on the screen. But as you know we're about not quite a minute in. So we're going to go ahead and continue. Got some nice upgrades on our person. We'll pick up a little oxygen on the way to make sure everything's up to date. Let's see where we are. Okay, yeah, we're doing pretty good. Okay, let's continue. So, yeah, we're looking for a ship. My kingdom, my kingdom, my kingdom for a ship. Let's see what we have in our inventory right now. Yeah, the ship that we will never go to or find. Okay. That's strange. Is our uranium really down that low? That looks like it is. I thought we had another amount of uranium on our person, but I guess not. We have plenty of oxygen that we really need to utilize. And carbon. Okay. Carbon plus. We need regular carbon for now. Why do we have uranium? Hmm, I'll have to think about that. Okay. So we're going to make sure we use up some of this carbon just so we can... Or to get some carbon, I should say. Because we need carbon... To continue. Always look around. And where's our planets at? Really are. Okay, so we're heading in that general direction. Now, someone thought that I might have been heading in more of an easterly, east-west direction. Kind of hard to say. I honestly don't know, and I haven't checked. The, over the cliff overhangs, so that's why I'm digging through, in case you're wondering. And by the way, this recording is taking place early morning, hence the voice. I don't even know what I got out of that. I really wish it wouldn't default to the ship. Silver? Yeah, like I really need silver right now. Still trying to figure out the uranium thing. No sparks flying, that means we're not getting anything from it. I'd love to get some of that chlorine over there, but it's really not worth it. So, boink, there we go. Take a quick peek around, make sure I'm not missing something. Okay. I don't see anything. I'm going to continue gathering little bits of carbon because it's the one area that I keep failing to do is to gather up enough carbon to keep myself going in certain other respects. It's, it's, there's no sentinels around to touch me right now. Or get angry at my deforestation of their uh, planet. That's just getting really annoying. Okay, up to 126... I can get rid of some of the condensed carbon. That gives me nine. Okay. That's rocks, it looks like. You know what? I wonder if we can get the big plants. They take longer. Maybe take some of my charge out of this. Getting sparks, it means it's eating away at it. 
I'll take a couple of those. I just want to get some inventory reduction going without actually deleting the inventory. Yeah, that should take it. Let's see where we are now. Oh, that's just getting really annoying. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay, nine. Think. Really? Really? So what we're going to do is we'll just get one of these minor plants real fast. Oh, it's getting annoying when it keeps going over to the ship instead. All right, so that should clear that up. So now we got that available. Next, we're going to use this for our life support, and we'll try to keep that going as well. We got plenty of this. I'm going to get rid of it. There's no reason to have it. We got a full boat over here. Uh, overabundance of oxygen. I don't think I really need this. So I'm going to get rid of that. It's not worth anything to me really right now. This way, we free up some inventory space, and we can start gathering up more of the salvage data. With 2.3 million, it'll be nice to get a little bit more. Okay, so now we know what we're up to. We don't need to get any oxygen for now. Sounds like there's a ship coming. Maybe? No? No, no ship. Okay. Look behind. Make sure you haven't missed anything. Looks like some sodium out there. It's a different angle, different perspective, and all that. I don't see anything. Use every available resource. We want to get up to the top of this bad boy. And we just lost it, so now we're on our own power. There we go. Not bad. So, yeah, I got a couple comments from people saying, yeah, you know, I'd rather see you continue it. I want to see how far this goes. Some said that it took as long as seven hours to get to something. So I was like, okay, you know what, I'll give it a shot. Why not? All right, nothing over there. Let's get over here. Copper. And I have this un incredible desire to go down there and mine that copper real quick after the expeditions. After that latest expedition, I've been going, was going nuts looking for copper at every opportunity. Ugh, look at it all. Yeah, just mock me, why don't you? Mock me, copper. Mock me. Okay. So I'm going to start heading towards a lot of these... Uh, mechanical places, uh, the the machinery, mechanical machine, machine damage machinery. That's the words. I, I can get them out, and we'll keep a closer eye on them, and we'll start harvesting more of the what do I want to use here. We're down pretty low on phosphorus, as you might notice. Okay, that is really getting annoying. I'd really like it to stop doing that. Yeah, down to 96. So we're going to have to find another phosphorus farm here real quick. So we'll see how many... There we go. Life support's okay. Alright, so damage machinery. We'll get some more of the buried technology. And we'll start to build up our resources again. We need phosphorus, not copper. So look for red patches at an occasion. And we're still obviously looking for ships. Yep, get away from you so you don't blow my blow me up. Let's see what we got in here. We'll check them out and see what their in innards have to in store for us. Because you never know, we might get something out of it. I can't seem to get it defaulted. Pulse engine module. Useless. And there's our guys. We'll lose track of them over the edge of the uh, place over there. So, and we'll, don't 
forget to get rid of our silicon. Because we don't need this much silicon. Okay. Look for our tell telltale signs of the glow in the rocks as well. Oh, wait. Guess what? There it is. Alright. Oh, your default is killing me here, buddy. Uh, okay, so we got 300 silicon already. We will keep using you. And how much does that leave us? 156, that's fine, that's fine. Wow, it doesn't really use a lot of oxygen, does it? Fascinating. Anyway, moving along. Uh, planets. Planet is over there. We're getting this direction. Keep going. So we're not seeing any ships yet. Up the surface. There we go. Okay. Mini animals. So, we're going to try to find anything at this point. Any signs of civilization? Any signs of anything out here? All quiet. Alright, do we have any red? I could use some phosphorus. I don't see any. Really? Really? Just making sure I didn't damage anything. Oh, I hate that. Now, I've kind of... Uh, every time I record one of these, I come out with them immediately. So you're going to say, wait a second. He's coming out with this on a Wednesday? Yeah, I'm off work today. Decided to take the week off for spring break for my kids. And here I am playing the game, I know. But keeping in mind, it's, kids aren't even awake yet. I play these things early in the morning. Best time to do it. Uh, I'd like to hit that peak over there. Look behind. Look ahead. That looks very familiar. I found myself a trading outpost. Minor. Minor establishment, but nonetheless, it is a trading outpost. I can get rid of some of the gear I've got along the way. Now, it's not a major trading outpost where I can get stuff. That's not what I was trying to get. But, it's okay. There we go. I just want to make sure my health is up to snuff. Because you never know. You might have lost a heart here and there. Okay. That's really good. Okay. Kind of a failed attempt there. Now, I am going to hit that mountain peak, but... With a minor trading outpost. That comes in handy for us. We might even be able to get some upgrades. And sometimes these minor trading outposts have stuff near them. Alright, where'd it go? Did I pass it? No, no, it's up there. I can see the antennas. Okay. So where there's one building, there are sometimes other things floating around. Occasionally we'll find even a derelict ship or something nearby. These guys are flying from kind of a different direction than I'm used to. Ah, this one does not simply walk to. Moria? Mordor. Okay. 
All right. Not bad. Let's go inside and see what the locals have for sale. All right. So this is a good find. Uh, let's see. Let's get rid of our Corvax casing, of course. I don't need that much navigation data. I think I'm going to start getting rid of it because we don't need it. Uh, see, we're getting a 5% increase on the price on that, so that's good. Salvage data, the effigy, and the microprocessors. How'd we do? I think we did pretty good. And we're up to 3.6 million, not bad. What do they have for sale here? Let's take a look. A Starship launch fuel, we can get some of that, right? Yeah, and that's it. Copper metal plating. Yeah, not a whole lot of anything that I could really use. Okay, how many nanites we got? 530, so we might be able to get one upgrade if they'll let us. That's going to get us some more nanites. And anything on the walls that can get us some nanites. Nope, I don't see anything besides this kind of a pathetic little multi-tool, which isn't going to help us at all. Now, this guy here will sometimes give us upgrades to our multi-tool. Let's... Yeah, I'm really getting tired of it defaulting to my ship here. Yeah, see, I have no upgrades to my multi-tool at this point, except for the terrain manipulator and the analysis visor, so... Let's see what he'll do for us. Ah, no, so some flares approach. They inhale deeply, filling their lungs with the burning air that has followed me into the relative cool of the facility. They bark out what could be a warning. I hurriedly mime that are peaceful and know little of their kind or language. And a bunch of words I don't get. They take a second to think. Then grab my multi-tool while barking again into my visor, streaking it with saliva. They point at the mining beam charge indicator, then at my backpack. I do my best to keep calm. We're going to give him the carbon, because that's what he's asking for. And teach me several new words of their language. Impressed by both my gift. Okay, that's pretty much it. Yep. Didn't really get anything out of him except a few words. Thank you. Thank you for your kind words, sir. Appreciate that. All right. Uh, oxygen. Okay. There we go. Fully charged. Let's see what he has for us in store over here. Let's go components first. I just want to see what he has in stock. You see, these wiring looms are ridiculously priced, right? Yeah. And salvage data, of course. Nothing really of value to me. Okay. Now let's check out the blueprints. So this is where it becomes worth something. Now, if I can get some magnetized ferret, I've already got an iron battery. That will increase my scan radius. As well as my recharge time as well. This is not helpful to me. The advanced mining laser bike, however, is. And between the two, that's 487. I have just enough for the two of them. I don't really need the shield lattice, to be honest with you. I've got enough on that. Uh, you know, barrel ionizer are not really worth anything. Cooling network, I've already got two. So, really not worth it. So, there's two things that I can get. And this will not give me any increase in... See, the scan radius isn't really helping me any. That's true. So getting that is ridiculous. Not worth the time, because I'm not using a HUD. And the charge every time? No, it's not worth it, because, again, not using a HUD. So the only thing, besides a neural stimulator, which would be fantastic, which I can't get until I reach rank 3, is the advanced mining laser. So let's go ahead and get that. And that'll give me the opportunity to build that into my exosuit here. Right, mining laser. I'm sorry. Just a little bit uh, fried there. So this here. So we need two car a carbon nanotube, which we can make, a hermetic seal, which we can make, and two wiring looms, which are very expensive. Now, if we uninstall something, it would give us the wiring looms. But I'm going to go ahead and purchase them. And it's going to cost me a pretty penny, but it's worth it in the end. 
And it's not going to cost me much for that, too. So we'll just go ahead and grab it. Okay. And then... I can make a carbon nanotube, but it would be great if I could buy one. There we go. They don't cost much. But that way I can keep my technology that I've got. Uh, so back to the multi-tool. And we got everything we need now. So now I'll get more out of my mining laser. That'll give me a faster mining speed and I can get advanced mining out of it as well. So I can start see large or rare deposits now. So that's good. That's good. So let's go ahead and continue. It'd be great to upgrade this at one point and get more spots on it, but I'm not really worried about it. We won't be able to do that unless we reach a uh, space station. So we'll get what we can. Okay, so I think we're in good shape. How's the rest of our supplies look? We got carbon. Put this in place here. Okay. Let's see, you got plenty of oxygen. I'd like to keep them together. Put my oxygen over here. We need the phosphorus at some point. We need to really get that moving along here. So let's put sodium here, sodium plus. We'll put oxygen right next to each other. There we go, so we're better organized. And we'll just keep you down here for now, that's fine. Okay. We need to look for a phosphorus deposit, so let's make sure we do that. Okay, so here's the landing pad. Too bad we can't call the ship in, huh? There's the mountain we want to head to and get on top of. Again, we want to keep an eye open because, again, these these particular places tend to be close to other items. So this was a really good find. Gives us a save point. In case we glitch out or something. And there's always something over here, but unfortunately they are hard to come by. I'll keep one, but honestly, no I won't. <laughs> Let's get some more nanites. Uh, this one right here. Okay. They might give us 60 or 70 nanites, that's good. And let's see if this guy's got anything in it. Something for my jetpack would be great. Probably not. I don't know why it keeps defaulting to the ship. Looks like we got some more nanites. I don't know, we're just about back where we were. 530 is where we were. So that's pretty good. And there's usually nothing in this one. Okay. Alright, so... Where is that? Now the sun's rising. So that might be right. I might be heading east towards the sun. So we're going to head in this direction. I'll go to that peak next. Take a look from the uh, edge and make sure I'm not missing something. Isn't that, speaking of edges, that's pretty cool. Kind of a strange edge to this here. Keep thinking I'm going to see something in the distance and be like, oh. But besides this trading outpost, which was very nice to find, yeah, down we go. Hey guys. Now the timing, now the reason I was mentioning about, you know, releasing these immediately, and yes it is on a Wednesday, you all have probably seen the emoji by now. Evil update. Well, Captain Steve, Captain of the Steves as he likes to call himself, had a live broadcast today that only lasted about a half hour, but he had pulled in, hey look Phosphorus, he had pulled in a, yeah that's AD, ADHD by the way, in case you're wondering. Uh, yeah. He had pulled in a, uh, beta, or if you will, a pre-view of the update to come. And it looks like we're going to get Corrupted Sentinel Worlds. Dissident, I think it said, if I remember correctly. So when you look at your galaxy map and you're looking at all the worlds and they all say water, you probably remember that. They show Dissident. 
and you have corrupted sentinel worlds so there's going to be something regarding that i don't know if we're looking at bosses i'm not going to give too much more away there is another new ship so looking forward to that i'm gonna to have to go through my main save my main inventory and get rid of a ship now yay and I think I have an idea what ship I'm getting rid of. I've never been a fan, first of all, of living ships. They're pretty neat to have. They're kind of a status symbol and everything like that. But I've never been a really big fan of them. Ah, how much did we get? 289. Not bad. That should be it. And let's just grab this a little bit more because we're about to recharge anyway. That should be good. There you go. Just like that. Okay. So we're going up to the top of this peak here. Um, wrong button. Pardon me. No, it's just stretching my arms. I am going to get a little bit of the sodium. Is the sodium that we're low on? Is the sodium nitrate? It was the sodium nitrate. My bad. Okay. So we won't be getting any more of that. Okay. Okay, this is a... There we go. Always take a look behind where you've been just to play it safe. Okay. So many times you think I've been around the planet by now. Obviously not that many. So, sorry for the little bit of a spoiler there. I'll put in there that there's a slight spoiler alert into the title. But, looking forward to what it brings. I don't personally think... I don't like to speculate too much. I don't personally think that there's going to be an expedition. They'd like to have about four of these a year. They almost always come out with one at the end of January, early February. And then there's another one that they come out with sometime around the May-June time frame. So, we're a little early for an expedition. They usually have an update in between them. And usually it's a pretty significant update like we're seeing right now. That we look like we're going to be seeing here. The top of the peak? Well, I'm not the wrong peak, but that's okay. Let's get up to the top of this one anyway. Okay, so we've got some damaged machinery over there. So we're going to tear that apart here in a minute. Uh, let's get over here. Well, that looks like a good spot to stand. Alright. There. I don't feel like dealing with him. And it's so much quieter this way. Ugh. There's another one at the distance. Of course there is. Uh, a whole bunch of plants. More ships flying over. I see nothing. And we're slowly coming across the end of our segment here. Let's get a picture, shall we? And we need to pull back. A little nighttime shot for the episode. There we go. And they're going to the left this time, so they're saying something's over that way, but we've been going this way, so I'm not really sure. It's like they're telling me to go every other direction but where I'm going, so I don't know what to make of that. That's just a copper deposit down there. It's attracting my attention. Let's get this damage machinery real quick. So yeah, we spent some money, but we're going to get more out of our mining laser at some point or another. That sounded like something. Maybe not. There. No, no, didn't get anything something out of it. Again, let's watch for the glow. Something's available. Let's 
try over here because we've been getting lucky with it being in front rather than behind. Oh, there it is. Okay. Got that. And we're going to head over to the other peak. And I think that's where we're going to end this episode. Now, we spent a lot of time in the minor trading platform. I see something here. I want to grab this white box. Good. It's the only thing I wanted to grab out of there. Yeah, the, the microprocessors, we're not really getting a good price for those. Uh-oh. That hurt. I thought I had more charge on there. Okay, it doesn't look like I hurt anything or damaged anything. Good. So we're not going to gather any of those anymore. Okay, so this gives us a view from the other side. Again, not seeing much of anything. So because we spent more time there, obviously... We're going to call this a little bit of a, I don't know, a pause, if you will, to what's been going on. All right, that looks like a good view. I don't see anything again. I was hoping there'd be something near that minor trading outpost, but... Yeah, not seeing much of anything. All right. A little bit of hydration, right back. My voice tends to be a little rough in the morning, so... Okay, so I think we're going to call it here. So we'll see you guys in the next episode. So it's been about a half hour, and we'll pick you back up here in just a little bit. Alright, everybody, take care. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe. Take care.